All right, guys, welcome to a brand new video. In this video, we'll be testing a method to actually do methods to um, limit the sound of the tube amplifier. I'm using the Marshall DSL 20 head and um, I'm going to be running, I'm actually running it through the Marshall 4x12 cap. Um, and what I'm testing for is that, as we all know, the tube amplifiers, they sound great. Uh, at a certain volume, which is normally uh, the high volume, um, anywhere above nine o'clock, really. Uh, below that, it just sounds crap. And so the way I'm um, I'm gonna limit this extra loudness of this amplifier is by running a transparent style um, uh, drive pedal into the effects loop of the amplifier. The other option that I've got is I'm going to be trying out the TC Electronics uh, force field um, compressor pedal and I'm going to use that um, as well to see if if that sounds better or if my transparent style drive pedal sounds better. So without further ado let's go ahead and demonstrate this method. All right, guys, this is my setup over here. I've got the clone clone centaur, um, and I've got the noise suppressor. So pretty much I'm using my clone clone as, um, as the volume control. As you can see over here, it's been set to pretty much about one or two, and the main volume on my Marshall DSL and the ultra gain channel is set to about 10, 10, 30, 10 o'clock, between 10 and 11 o'clock actually. Um, so the setup is the four cable method. Um, and I'll go behind the amplifier now. Right, so the send cable, the send signal is going into the input of the clone centaur which is then going into the Behringer noise suppressor input and then the output of the noise suppressor is going into the return of the Marshall DSL. So it's a pretty simple method. So I'm, I'm using the effects loop section of the Marshall DSL to limit the sound of the tube amplifier. All right, let's go ahead and check out the volume, what it sounds like. <laughs> method has absolutely worked. Uh, it has reduced the loudness of the tube amplifier. I must say the sound is actually pretty good. Um, obviously if there was a way to just crank up the tube amplifier, um, obviously uh, in a rehearsal space or during live setting, um, or if you live in a house which is not surrounded by neighbors, then it's going to be great. Then you don't really need this uh, walk around. But if you live in an apartment like myself and um, you still want to play your tube amplifier this is the best way to go about it um, as you can see the volume on my ultra gain channel was set between 10 10 o'clock and 11 o'clock and uh, i was able to actually get really awesome sound coming out of this marshall dsl 20 head um, obviously it's not the same as the actual sound but i would say the difference is very minor and it sounds great. I can finally use this amplifier. Yeah, I'm going to be using the TC Electronics force, force field compressor um, in the effects loop. And this is just a noise, a noise gate from Behringer. Uh, and I'm going to be using that to control the volume of a Marshall DSL 20 head 
So I'm running it through the Marshall 4x12 cab. And as you can see, in the ultra gain channel, the volume is set to almost about 11 o'clock. Um, and the volume level on the force field is you know, set, at, set at one. Um, so it's quite low and you can alter the sustain and the attack per your lightning. Um, and let's demonstrate and see what the volume sounds like coming through this tube amplifier. All right. demonstration earlier on in this other video where I use the the clone clone pedal uh, which is a drive pedal and I use that to control the volume of the Marshall DSL 20 um, I think that one sounded better than the compressor pedal and the transparent but... style drive pedal works absolutely great um, in terms of reducing the overall volume of uh, the t or the loudness of the tube amplifier and yet giving us a better sound quality to play to play at home especially if you're living in an in an apartment situation like myself um, and so really um, my my personal preference would probably be the transparent style uh, drive pedal uh, which is the mosque uh, pedal um, I call it the clone clone um, and I think um, that has more warmth in it in comparison to the DC electronics compressor so thank you so much for watching this video if you're new to my channel make sure to give us a like and uh, also leave me a comment and let me know if there are any other methods uh, which are good and which are like easier and cheap methods uh, to limit the sound and the loudness of a tube amplifier. Thank you so much once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care.